Hello everyone, Ruby here. Hope you guys are having a good day. And so on the Power World Discord server, um, the patch notes, new patch notes was just released for the Steam version of the game with the Xbox and uh, PC Game Pass versions of Power World update coming soon. Um, the patch notes for Steam is to update the Steam client to 0 0.1.4.0 well, the Xbox version, when it's ready and released, will update the Xbox client to 0.1.1.3. And so, I just want to go through what the patch note talks about here for those who are not aware of the changes there. There's been some major fixes and also some glitches that has been, or exploits that have been fixed also, that you can only do. So the first one um, the um, patch note talks about is in regards to the major fixes done. So it says here that fixed an issue where the game will crash under certain conditions, which is good. Anything that can fix uh, the power client crashing is always welcome in my book. Um, second one says fixed an issue where if another player's PAL or base PAL had HP of 30% or less. It could be captured by using a spear. This is actually pretty important here because this means that if you're playing on a dedicated server, for instance, I am not managing your base properly. I have pals whose HP is gone as low as 30% or less. They could be captured by someone else using a spear. So this is it's actually pretty good at fixing this right away. Now it also says here fixed an issue where enemy pals would get stuck in walls due to charge attacks. This is good. It's very frustrating when you're trying to catch a pound. It does a charge, gets stuck in a cliffside or um, mountainside. I can want to capture that pound. Or I can also continue to fight itself. So I'm glad this is fixed also. Implemented the first fix for an issue where the game will always crash and save data will be corrupted. When the guild's total number of pals captured reached around 7,000. So, since I primarily play on the PC Game Pass version because most of my friends are Xbox players, I have not run into this yet, primarily because Xbox players do not have access to dedicated servers yet. Uh, we can only host from our game itself, and I doubt anyone is hosting, a, um, has enough players been hosted on their games more in the run-ins of this so this is mainly for steam here but i'm glad they're actually fixing this because when dedicated servers are ready i made a video about that in regards to myself working with um with um, pocket pair in regards to getting dedicated servers ready for the xbox version of the game at least when that is ready we will not be experiencing this anymore because this patch will fix it and that is when the patch drop for Xbox is not it's not released for Xbox yet. It says it will be released as soon as it is, it is ready. Now um, it says the game a lot crashes even if the total number of captured objects exceeds 7,000. However, save data that has already been in this state. In the case of a server, the server's world data prior to this update will still be unable to load. We are continuing. We are continuing to work on fixing this issue permanently. So that's good. Now, they also talk about key configurations in the game that they uh, made updates to. They added support for mouse side keys and a memory keypad in keyboard key con configuration. This is good because if I was playing a Steam version, for instance, I I'm using a Logitech mouse that has 12 buttons on the side. Um, this is the mouse I probably used to play MMOs, and so if I was playing the Steam version of the game, I probably would like to have setting keys mapped to those keys on, the, on my mouse itself. So I'm glad they added the support here for those who use it on the Steam version. And further improvements are currently planned, such as support for interact key configuration. That's good also. Now, the setting play issues that has played the game since, and they have they have fixes for it here. Now, it says they have fixed an issue where players on dedicated servers and co-op online were receiving damage twice. Yes, this is good. I've had a few friends who play on the Steam version complain about this, so this is good. 
specifications have been changed so that you can move at extremely low speed even when you have exceeded the weight limit that is good because there's nothing more annoying than uh, being encumbered um, and you've surpassed the weight limit is what encumbrance means and you can no longer move you're just stuck in place um, I've actually died from boss fights uh, overworld boss fights uh, where I accidentally picked up items um, that was lying on the floor and I got stuck and I was just easy pickings for the boss. The Palladius and Necromus boss fight in the, in the desert biome um, north, on the northern part of the map comes to mind where in, during the fight itself because of where they're located the trees nearby gets damaged and if I'm rolling trying to get out of attacks I sometimes I can accidentally pick up trees or rocks um, and I get stuck because I'm, I'm encumbered so this is good at least even though you can't run at full speed at least you can still move a little bit. Players will no longer pass through walls when dismounting. Okay. Fixed an issue where capture power strengthened by lift monk effigies was reset when using memory reset drugs. This right here. And so I've wanted for so long to um, redistribute my stat points, but I've not used I've not done it yet because when I hit about the bug. Uh, that gave me a pause and essentially what that bug is is that so the leaf monk effigies around the map the green glowy stuff you see that it's a lot easier to see at night um, when you capture certain amounts you can turn it turn it in at the statue that you have of your base of the lotus and it will allow you to also strengthen yourself by increasing your capture power um, increasing it, increasing it, increasing in your capture power helps with your capture efficiency basically with the balls you use and so this is good here that it fixed that I can now once this is the point for the Xbox versions or the PC Game Pass versions I can finally go ahead and redistribute my stamp points that we set it up so that this is really good here fixed an issue where armor could be equipped in a wrong slot yes this is okay yeah this was a um, exploit or a bug in the game where you could take you could equip ammo pieces into other parts of your inventory screen like the slot for your shield for instance thereby doubling or double dipping into the ammo values you get and also the health values you get especially if you're using legendary armor and which gave you a big boost in terms of survivability and so this has been fixed so this will no longer work you can no longer equip extra armor extra armor into the glider slot for instance so that's my first adjust the camera positions for several pals of several pals to make it easier to see when mounted this is good the set of pals i hate using as mounts because it can barely see for instance um, the pal um, jet jet dragon which is very good um, in terms of move speed offline there's certain instances where you're mounted and you're trying to throw your ball or shoot from its back and the camera view just obstructs what you're looking at, the view, your viewpoint itself, I can barely see what's going on. So I'm glad that I've adjusted the camera positions of the piles there are making things like this hard. So that's good. Now, there are also um, base uh, fixes that I've issued here, base issues. Specifications have been changed so that pals who were manually assigned to a breeding farm will not become hungry and their manual assignments will not be removed. So that's good. The key to um, the next one is the key to lift pals has been changed from F to V. On the gamepad, the reason control is from X to Y in order to prevent accidents this is very good there's so many instances where i've accidentally picked up pounds when i did not want to pick them up so this is a welcome change here uh, reduce the speed and range of fire spreading on wooden buildings i think almost every single player is going to be happy with this one here because just about every person i know has had their base burnt down from a raid <laughs> This happened to me also where my entire base was burnt to the ground and luckily enough I just unlocked stone so I, was, I had to I was able to rebuild the base on stone. Some players were not so lucky. 
But yeah, and so what this means, uh, at least I'm assuming what this means is that if um, a wooden piece or wooden structure in your base catches fire, you have enough time to um, dismantle that piece before the fire spreads to other parts of your base or the buildings of your base itself. So this is good. And here it says fix the issue where manual work assignments could not be set at all under certain um, circumstances. This is this is good. The many instances where I see piles are idle or I want to reassign piles manually and I pick them up and I take them to the station and I throw them on the station and they just will not take the assignment itself so they'll just go to something else instead so this is good because that was very annoying to begin with now fixed an issue where extremely high level relaxer of uh, relaxers will attack the base during raids yes i've had one of this happen to before where in, um i, I got wiped out i there was no i could take that the high level rex uh, relaxer out so this is good Nothing. There's nothing worse than faith, um, being raided by enemies that are way higher than you are, and they just decimate you. They just mop the floor with you. So this is good here. Added several measures to prevent base piles from getting stuck. So this is good. Fixed an issue where piles will get stuck while transporting items, and will drop them on the spot. Yes. Now, I've seen instances where pals will get stuck and just drop the items on the spot and you just have stuff littered all over the floor and the base itself with items just drop all over the place there, so this is good. Fixed an issue where pals at the base will continue to cut down trees that were already cut. Okay, I never experienced this one, so it's, it's, that's a good fix. Fixed an issue where pals at the base were on the verge of death due to unexplained fall damage. I haven't experienced that either, but I can assume how annoying that could be too. Fixed an issue where piles at the base will float under some conditions. I currently have this going on right now. Um, wherein I'm using the, um, the, what's the item called again? The, um, the view, I, I, it's like, it's transparent. Um, you put piles in there where you can view piles, but they cannot get hungry and stuff like that. And I've had instances wherein they're just floating all over the place instead of them being in there, so that's good. Fixed an issue where if a farm was built on the second floor or above, what piles will be unable to move on the floors below? Yes, this is good. I've had friends complain about um, when they're building multiple floors in their base and they have different farms there, like the tree farm or the rock farm, for instance. They have to place it in such a way that they do not overlap vertically across floors. That way, piles do get stuck and stuff like that and, um, for moving and stuff. So that this is actually good. Now, um, the other fixes that they have, and it states here, others, uh, other corrected incorrect text. So that's good. Measures have been added to prevent cheating and stealing other players' pounds, which goes back to the one I was talking about earlier. Wherein, if you have pals or even play on a dedicated server like on Steam, on the Steam client, and you have pals in base that go uh, below 30% HP, you can actually capture your pals using pal spheres. So, this is good here. This is what this is referring to. Measures have been added to prevent cheating and stealing other players' pals. There are probably other things, other ways to steal people's players' pals that I, I'm not aware of because I do not play on um, Power World on the Steam Client itself. Now last one here is many other minor fixes such as the addition of a UI key guide, which is good. We will continue development placing top priority on fixing major problems and issues. Thank you for your continued support of Power World. This is good. Uh, this update in general was really good. I'm looking forward to when the um, update is released for the Xbox because this update was just released for the Steam version about an hour or so ago. And so um, it stays on here, the Xbox version, version 0.1.1.3 will be released as soon as, it, as soon as it is ready, which is good. But that's about it though, that's all I have, and that's all I want to make this video about in regards to the new patch released for Powell for the Steam version with the Xbox version coming soon. 
And that's it. We'll be out. Have a wonderful night, folks. Peace.